the, the DVC uh, academic, uh, DVC Rio, case of schools, uh, distinguished uh, supervisors, and allow me to recognize my supervisor, Professor Lucy Vaina, uh, distinguished uh, PhD graduates, ladies and gentlemen. My topic is on collective security institutions uh, and the stabilization of the Eastern African uh, region. And uh, as a way of context, uh, the issue surrounding uh, this research is uh, on the role of uh, collective security institutions uh, in uh, this region of ours, Eastern Africa, uh, in managing uh, conflicts. Uh, and as you know, uh, this region uh, is one of the most conflicted regions, a region that has got 14 countries, uh, consisting of the country systems of all of Africa and the, 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 the ICGRI. The problem that we have is that we have three uh, collective security institutions. Eastern Africa the Community, uh, IGAD, and the Eastern Africa Standard by Force. And the challenge we have here is that uh, we've had close to 4.6 million refugees, uh, 6 million IDPs as we speak, and the multiplicity of conflicts surrounding uh, close to 50% of the countries in the region. And the question is, why is that so? Why is it that having invested heavily uh, in these particular institutions, uh, where these countries have invested close to 0.042% of their GDPs overall, why haven't we been able to address these conflicts, uh, having a multiplicity uh, of these institutions? And therefore, my study then, uh, it was to unwrap uh, these contributions affecting these three institutions, uh, and whose mandate, as I said, is peace and security. A equal amount of research uh, review uh, looked at a number of authors uh, who have done research in these areas, uh, and what came out very clearly is that most researchers have undertaken research mainly focusing on single institutions. This research, therefore, focused on the three institutions together, combined, and looked at how have they been able to address uh, this problem. And therefore, it was a critical lens, uh, looking at a three-pronged approach. Uh, and I focused heavily uh, on the, the theories of new realism, new liberalism, and constructivism. My method of research uh, was uh, one uh, to undertake uh, a, a mixed method uh, using both qualitative and quantitative designs, and also uh, cross-sectional uh, surveys, uh, application of uh, questionnaires, mainly because the region, uh, as I said, is a huge region with a lot of uh, uh, respondents that needed to be uh, to, be, to be sought and uh, to provide uh, inputs to the research. I also did do quite a bit of uh, approach those who are experienced uh, in research, those who have great experience in peace and, peace and security, and those who have lived the conflicts, uh, people who have experienced uh, very serious challenges, and therefore adopted a phenomenological design uh, to aid me to collect the research. On the other hand, uh, the target population that I had uh, mainly for these three institutions was uh, 608, uh, and then uh, sampled obviously uh, to about 226 uh, later on. I also did have an opportunity to interact with uh, civil society organizations, uh, 585 of them, uh, across uh, mainly three conflicted areas of South Sudan, uh, Somalia, and Burundi uh, being the most conflicted regions. Uh, and the sampling techniques was one to look at uh, the regions, especially the, the CSI, the, 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 the security institutions, and I grouped them into three levels. One, strategic level, senior leadership, 
the operational level, level and those who do the job on the ground. And therefore used uh, a stratified random sampling. Then I did a cluster sampling mainly for the administrative units uh, in those countries, and of course sampling uh, for the, uh, the, the civil society organizations dealing with peace and security, and also those who are beneficiaries uh, of security in those regions. Used questionnaires, interview schedules, and focused group discussions uh, within uh, the data collection, analyze the data uh, using uh, the uh, analyze, summarize the statistics, frequencies, and percentages using SPSS version 33. And then I had uh, uh, I had interviews that were conducted in uh, all these areas, particularly for the senior leadership. I transcribed, coded them, and then uh, the findings were presented thematically uh, using uh, voices. The quantitative data, uh, the quantitative data was uh, triangulized uh, and had to enhance the validity and credibility uh, of the research findings. And therefore, my findings, uh, as uh, was based on the objectives that I had for them. First is to understand what are these contemporary security uh, uh, threats that we face in this region. And this range from terrorism all the way down to issues related to cyber and piracy. And what is very clear uh, is that uh, first, to understand the threats is critical in understanding the design and the establishment of the security institutions. And most importantly, uh, the issue that is very clear is that the subregion faces a whole gamut uh, of security threats. All of them uh, that uh, interact at some point in creating a very serious challenge uh, for the region. This has contributed greatly to the fragility that we find ourselves in. The second objective, how have these institutions managed these security, security threats? These three, EGA, ESC, and ESF. And what is very clear uh, is that uh, there has been minimal uh, and disco performance in the management of these threats. The successes in managing the threats has not been coherent, uh, primarily because the institutions are not coordinated. Uh, they don't collaborate. Uh, they are uh, competing uh, for space, uh, and therefore there cannot be any tangible effects uh, on the ground. The third, uh, the third uh, finding, uh, uh, based on objective three that I had, was contribution of these particular institutions, the three of them, in particular addressing the problems that uh, Somalia, uh, Burundi, and South Sudan faces, being the most conflicted region. And it was very clear uh, that uh, while we have representation of these countries in Somalia, uh, under AMISOP and now ATMIS, the performance has been very dismal 